Narendra Modi's aide Amit Shah relief coming in from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court saying uh, that there is no need for a fresh FIR against Amit Shah uh, in the fake encounter case and that uh, can come as music uh, to the ears of Amit Shah as well as Narendra Modi. Amit Shah, remember, has uh, recently been appointed as the General Secretary of the BJP and this news uh, will uh, clearly enthuse uh, the BJP rank and file. Joining us on the phone line is uh, Rhythm Anand Bharadwaj. Rhythm, what is the latest information that you have from the Supreme Court. What is the case and what kind of relief has Amit Shah got? Navika, this is a huge relief for Amit Shah because today the Supreme Court has given its judgment. Since earlier they were saying that there should be two separate trials in the case. This is what the CBI had said from the very start. Remember, this is about the very controversial fake encounter of Tulsi Ram Prajapati. In that particular case, there were two separate FIRs that had been filed by the CBI to have a double sort of uh, criminal punishment for Amit Shah, close confidant of Narendra Modi, one of the BJP leaders. That you, you, you did say he's now a general secretariat. Huge relief because the Supreme Court today is saying the CBI CBI's charge sheet in the Prajapati case could be a supplementary charge sheet. What they are saying is both of them have to be clubbed together. They have accepted Amit Shah's contention that the CBI should be holding a single trial. CBI's charge sheet in the case in the Prajapati case will be supplementary to the, uh, to the other case that they're already before them of Sorabuddin case. Huge relief because remember it was in 2010 that Amit Shah had been arrested by the CBI. He spent three months in Sabarmati jail. At that point of time, there was a huge controversy. He was also told to move out of Gujarat. Now what the Supreme Court has said is that the killing of Tulsi Ram Prajapati was a part of the same conspiracy. The CBI's charge sheet in the Prajapati case will not be a separate trial. It will be a part of the same trial that will be handled off with Sorabuddin case. Uh, this is a case, uh, Navika, in which we've seen it's actually Mr. Ram Jait Malani who's been representing Amit Shah for the longest time in the case. Every time we were at Ram Jait Malani's uh, residence, we also saw Amit Shah. We were, uh, you know, he told us the finer points of the case. Amit Shah today extremely relieved uh, because he has coming specially to Delhi to make sure in this case and ensure there's a single trial for him. The Supreme Court has today given him relief. They've accepted his contention there should be a single trial. They've also said the Prajapati charge sheet will be made a supplementary charge sheet in the Surabuddin case. This is one of the cases in which the Gujarat government has faced huge amount of controversial, uh, you know, trouble because of the contention that it was a fake encounter that had been done on Surabuddin, after which Amit Shah, the main uh, confidant of Narendra Modi, one of the, gov uh, one of the government leaders at that time of the BJP Gujarat government who was specially indicted and this was spoken of. Today, huge relief for him because the court has said a single trial will be there against Amit Shah.